Hello. Welcome to Yard Lane. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Anyway, anyway, I hope you're all well. Now, for those of you who don't know, Yarn Lane is all about crocheting and knitting. The best way to find out more about us is to visit our website. Uh, you can watch it on there. Um, and what you need to do is go to the website, Yarn Lane. It's just Yarn Lane, is it? Just yarnlane.com. Yarnlane.com. Uh, click on, it looks exactly the same as Sewing Street. Click on Watch the Show Live. And then what happens is a box on the right-hand side there. You can send us a message. That's when we send a white box across the bottom of the screen. Hello, says Hannah. Then, if you scroll down, you will see everything that we've got in the next hour on pre-order there. Now, I need to warn you, that's because we haven't started the show, so everything is there. So you can buy from there, you can absolutely buy from there. But as I introduce different items, that, that page comes into two columns. You'll get pre-order and you'll get the ones that are actually been shown on the show. Um, so they'll move across from pre-order. So you'll find anything that we've played already going to the left-hand side and anything that is about to be played will be on the right-hand side. Now you can also uh, send us an email which is studio at yarnlane.com. There you go, studio at yarnlane.com. And as I say, you can always send us a message on Facebook Live because we're there with you now. We're there with you now, and they're the messages I read from here. Oh, no, no, that's all right. I, I'm just reading it. So it's from, oh, okay, so that's nothing to do with Let me just take that off. Let me just take that one off. That's all right. Yeah, no, I've got that there, so I'll keep that there ready for later. Right, this is what we're doing today. Aren't they lovely? Oh, you want to lay it flat? Okay, oh, okay. Crochet, crochet, crochet. So this is the blue colourway. It's called Carefree Moments Blue Crochet Cushion Kit. Now, you do get half a metre of cream fabric to go behind the crochet to make the cushion underneath, right? Um, but then this is what you get for your $15.99. You'll be able to make $15.99 for everything. Okay, so $15.99, you'll be able to make the cushion itself. Then this is the blue yarn, which is... Creativi, Creativa Fino, 50 grams in each board. You get two balls. You get a crochet. Actually, let me open this one. I'll open this one so you can see what you're getting in here. Oh, it feels lovely. It feels really lovely, the yarn. Oh, I see the balls. Are, the balls, um, things have fallen off as I tried to get it out. They are 100% cotton. Lovely. Wash it at 40 degrees. Uh, four ply, did you say? Four ply cotton yarn. Mercerized cotton. So what you get is that they go in there. Yours will come with those on. There you go. You get two balls of the cotton. You can call it cotton. You get the um, you get the crochet hook included in this one, and you get the anchor instructions here. Oh wow! Look at that. So normally we don't have a hook in there. It's a millwood hook, size three. So that means you can add a size three hook to your collection. And then all your instructions are all on there. Oh, look, it's even got a stitch. Look, it's got all the different stitch things going on there. That's brilliant. Catherine's here to show us how to do it. I'll just take you through everything that we've got. So that's the blue one. I've also got it in. Catherine's got like a, I don't know what colour you call Catherine's, mushroom taupe. It must be grey then, yours one must be called grey. Okay, I'll show you that kit now. So, uh, have you got a picture of Catherine's cushion, please? Well, it's there on the table. Yeah, it's on the table there. Yeah. Okay, so this is what you get here. You get your two balls of cotton, your instructions, exact same, and your crochet hook size 3, 15.99. Now, that's the most popular so far. Okay, fewer than 20 of those already. Fewer than 20 of that colourway already. Remember, yours will have half a metre of cream behind it, but you can put whatever, whatever fabric you want behind it. It's not up to you. We've just put cream. There it is. Thank you. You get cream in the bundle anyway. You get half a metre of cream. in. So that's really good value. Because if you think that, if you know how much that is, how much that makes that? Anyway. Okay, I've got a message quickly before I move on to the next colourway. Hi there, I just discovered your channel yesterday. I'm in my element knowing there is a channel just dedicated to yarn goodness. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, it's been open. How long has it been open? Yarn Lane. Don't know when we opened Yarn Lane. Anyway, uh, show me what colour do you want to go on to next? 
wine. This is the one you're going to see Catherine demonstrating. Ooh, that's nice. Now, I'd be tempted not to use the white or the cream background in this. I'd be tempted to use a, well, I'd want a pink in mine, but you could put any colour behind that, yeah. Because it comes through, it comes through you see that, you, you'll see the fabric through there. Yeah. Oh, now, Hannah, well, we'll see, because you, hang on. I'll, I'll get you some cream, sanitised cream. We can have a look at it when you've crocheted a bit more. So that's the wine. Oh, sorry, you can't see. There you go, there you go. That's lovely colour, gorgeous colour. And then last but not least, we've got sand. And I'm thinking this might be my favourite colour. Right, I'm going to take that out for you so you can see the colour, because the picture on the web is a little bit weird. Oh, I see. Right, I'm going to take you through the colours. So this is sand. Yeah, so we've got no... Oh, oh no, we have, we will have, we will have in a minute. We will have in a minute. So I'm just going to show you, that's sand, that's grey. So I take the graphic out, I'm just showing you all the different colours because I think the website's a bit confusing. That's the blue. And... That's the wine. Right, so they're the four colour choices. Sand, grey, blue and wine. My cushion is the one made of the blue. Catherine's cushion that she's got on the desk is made of the grey. The one that she's going to start off with is the sand. And she's got some of the wine crocheted up to show you how you... She's going to show you how to start off in this one and finish off in this one. But they're all different. So you get two balls of that in the sand, two balls of that in the grey, two balls of that in the blue, two balls of that in the red. Oh, what? Grey is about to sell out. Grey is about to sell out now. It's because all the interior designers in posh houses, they all go for the lovely grey tones, don't they? So the grey is about to sell out. I'll just move that across like that. Right, now I've got some books I need to show you very quickly and then we will get to Catherine to do some crochets. Just do all of this so that we can uh, get up. We will talk about the books with Catherine later because she's read through all of them. Well, I've got five. I thought there were only four. Okay, which one first? Oh, yeah, that one. This one is like a book -a zine. 500 plus stitches. Yeah, yeah, Annie's crochet. Now, Annie's quilting always says that. We had Annie's knitting the other day, so what do we? Um, CD ROM in the back. And then 500 different stitches. There are only, there's 12 lessons in the book, but then you have 500 stitches on your CD ROM. Well, brilliant way to start. General overview of crochet and helpful tips. Must have reference of 500 plus. Oh, it's more than 500. 500 plus stitches for 12.99. Uh, Annie's quilting books are always brilliant, value and they always fly out because they they really, really they 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 kind of the people who write them must be real passionate. Oh, look, there's even projects in here. Look, cozy thread. Well, maybe that's the only project. Hang on. And so this is brilliant because it's all very well watching. Like when Catherine does it now, she'll explain it brilliantly. But actually, you can actually see which bit of the stitch it all goes through and everything like that. Anyway, that's like the Annie's Crochet 500 plus stitches, 12.99. Okay. Oh, the, the images from the CD-ROM are very clear. Hannah said she was looking at it last night. Right. What's next? Oh, yeah, crochet know-how, sorry, yeah. Couldn't see for looking. Techniques and tips for all levels of skill from beginner to advanced. Yeah. Again, beautiful illustration. Takes you through every stage of your crocheting. Chevron. Flowers. Obviously start at the beginning, because obviously it's going to be basic, working through to um, slightly more difficult, or more advanced, not difficult. At 9 99 this one. £9.99. pence. Oh, this, one, this one's an American book, this one. Oh, now, will it say if it's um, American terminology or 
Oh, no, no, it's UK, UK 9.99, that's fine. Fantastic, brilliant. Next. 350 crochet tips, techniques and trade secrets from Jan Eaton. Brilliant as a go-to book, whether you've been a crocheting for a while. Oh, look, that's, that's what Anna was talking about the other day, wasn't it? The blocking, the wet blocking. Whether you've been doing it for a while and just need to have refresher and need to go back, or you, you think, oh, I know what that stitch is, but I just can't remember. This is brilliant. Look, this is what this is like one of those um, quilting books that I always, you know, look at and go, oh, I should have this because it's got every single thing in it that you need to. Look. Fabulous. That's twelve ninety nine. Three hundred and fifty crochet tips. Techniques, that's supposed to say, not techs, and trade secrets. A compendium of know-how, crochet know-how. Twelve ninety-nine. Then I've got two books called Crochet. One's called Crochet Crocheted Home, one's called Crochet Home. This one first by Emma Lamb. 20 vintage modern crochet projects for the home. This is rather lovely, isn't it? Is this the one you love, this one? Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that could be going home with Catherine later. Again, beautiful look, garlands and decoration. Oh, look at that. Polka dot streamer. Oh! They, they've taken me back to my childhood suddenly. We must have had some of those at my nan's house. Or something like that, anyway. Maybe you're just thinking of doilies. But then, look, it gets... Bigger and be bigger projects. Look, pot holders, Hannah. You wouldn't think of a crochet pot holder, would you? In fact, there's lots of different pot holders in there. Oh, there's loads of pot holders. This is in case you've got an au pair that burns all the pot holders, eh, Hannah? No, she wasn't very good with pot holders in Amsterdam. Right, then you've got cushions, all the instructions. Oh, I like their bed. Is that a bed cover? Anyway, it's not crocheted. No, it's stitched, but. Candy corn cushion. Blankets and throws. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's a rug, isn't it, that one? Oh, floor throw. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks nicer draped on a chair. Oh, look at that. We used to have a sideboard like that. And adds a special smell to it. It was teak. Black blanket. Oh, that's nice as well. Granny chic pinwheel. Oh, I love that one. Beautiful. Right, okay, that's that book. And then last but not least, I've got Crocheted Home. 35 beautiful designs for throws, cushions, blankets and mores by Kate Eastwood. Oh, I've got that. That's soapstone, that is. I've got one of those. Um, here we go. So you've got bedroom and bathroom, living room, kitchen and dining, seasonal. That'll be seasonal, obviously, because that's Easter, isn't it? Oh, this is nice. Christmas bunting. Nursery. Oh, here we go. Nursery. Beautiful. Oh, look. Now, how much would you pay for that? If you went into one of those boutiques, a fortune, wouldn't you? A fortune. Flower, baby, blanket. Oh, these are lovely. I'm not so keen on a tissue box cover. Stars and Bobbles blankets. Spotty pom-poms. Ballroom cushion. Balloon, not ballroom. <laughs> oh, wait, thank goodness it is Friday. You're right. Uh, 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 that's it, Sharon. Are the books, are the instructions in the book UK or US? I'm imagining they'd be UK. Well, can we ask Catherine? Oh, we'll ask Catherine when we go over here. Yeah. We'll ask Catherine when we go over. Oh. Now, I didn't think they were allowed to do Bob, because there'll be no grip on that, will there? Bobbly bath mats, up to you. Oh, lidded baskets. We love this book. Gorgeous face cloth, coat hangers, ruffle blanket, ruffle cushion. Hot water bottle cover. You can't have a crochet book without hot water. Oh, we've gone to the living room now. Bobbly sofa throw, coasters, textured with pom-poms. This is a bit designer, this, but oh, look, you like a bolster, don't you, Hannah? 
Square storage. Oh, I'm not going to go through everything. There's loads. Look, loads. Oh, so, oh, what's that? A BT cosy. They're not real, Hannah. You'll be fine. Oh, and then seasonal. Let's have a look at seasonal. Autumn cushion. Look at the pom poms on there. Meadow cushion. Spring table runner and place setting. Oh, look, that's brilliant. Oh, well, now you see, no, I said I wasn't keen on the table runner. Changed my mind. Do you think that's fighting with the hedgehog? Oh, that's in socks. Okay. Christmas wreath. Oh, look, be nice when we can do this and have friends around for lunch again. Hannah says, nobody will come to mind because I have no friends. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit and read the spring table runner and place. I don't know how to do that. Uh, Catherine, how much is that book? Sorry, 12 99 12 99 Right, um, let's get back to the cushions because the grey one is sold out already. Wow. And the other colours are absolutely really, really popular. Quarter of wine has gone. So um, so where do we start? Because it's, it says it's not a beginner, it's not a beginner's kit, is um, it? No, but if you know the basic stitches, then you'd be able to do it. Okay, so if it's your first, maybe not your first project. Maybe not your first ever project. Yeah. But once you know a chain and a treble and a double. Oh, I know those. And you I, you know, it. I've only sit here listening. I right? think the only thing that would possibly make it more challenging is that you haven't got a written pattern. You have got a chart to follow. Right. Now, some people prefer a chart to follow. Mm -hmm. um, it depends how you like to learn. I, I do quite like a chart. Um, so I'm going to go through how you tackle the chart. And then if you've not had a go with one, I'd say have a go because there's not too many stitches. Um, so it's easy to keep track of where you are. So if, it's you, if you've never followed a chart before, it's a pretty good starting point. Right. You can see it's quite small. I did photocopy it just slightly larger so that hopefully you'd be able to see it okay. a little better. Yeah. Okay, so what you have with a chart is a symbol for every different sort of stitch. Right. So a chain stitch is like a little oval. Right. Um, and a treble is a straight line with a little dash across. Okay, there's okay. a key, I take You've it. You've got yeah. a key yeah, yeah, yeah. in there to show you. And you are going to read your pattern. Obviously, we're working in rounds, and we're going to read it in the rounds. You've got a little black arrow that shows your starting point. We're always working anti-clockwise. So our very first round, where the little black dash is, we are doing five chain stitch and then a slip stitch to join it. Right. That's what your symbols show you. Okay. Um, you'll see on my photocopy, you perhaps can see there's a tiny little bit of yellow pen. That's because as I was, um, sort of making up my example, just so I could keep track of which row I was on, um, I just did a little little coloured mark. Is it di different? Because I've already seen crochet done on quite thick wool and yarn so far. This is the first time I've seen it done with cotton. Yes, it's not quite four ply. It's a slightly thicker than four ply, I would oh, say. I actually, I actually really like crocheting with cotton. It feels lovely on your hands. Yes. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot. It's somewhere, it's not quite as thin as four ply, but it's not quite as thick as double knit. So okay. don't, don't get put off thinking, oh, this is really thin and... Oh, no, it feels you know, lovely. Because, it, feels it, really because lovely. it isn't um, at all. So I've done my first little round bit and joined with a stip stitch. And then I can see where my next row, I've got three little chain up. Right. So you can... The thing with this, you sometimes when you read the words and it tells you round by round... Um, It'll have bits in asterisks and it's quite easy to lose your place. Yeah. And with a chart, you can very quickly and visually see where you are. You could pick it up again quite now, quickly. Now, if you're, you're crocheting with your right hand, if you were left-handed, would you go the other way round on the chart? No. Oh. <laughs> you might hold your um, crochet hook and yarn in your other hand. Yeah. But no, you need to go in the same direction. Okay, okay so our second round tells me I'm doing three chain which counts as a treble right and then i am doing another 11 trebles round that central ring okay. which 
on the bit I've already made up here. <laughs> you jumped suddenly. <laughs> is that little bit in there. Okay. Oh, okay, the Just actual circle in you. the middle, yeah. Yeah. So we'll do that. One Catherine's working with is sand, if you're thinking about the colours. Which is actually a really nice colour. They're all they're all lovely colours. They're, they're nice they? they've got a nice softness yes. to them, haven't they? Well they're very they're all very designer. Like, I think that's why they, like I was saying the grey went so quickly, because that's very not on trend, but you know Pantone colours of the year are yellow and grey. So actually if you got the grey one and you put yellow fabric behind oh, it, you'd yes. be bang on trend, wouldn't you? What what kind of yellow? Is it all quite a, Quite a bright. Oh, okay. Quite a bright sunny yellow. Yeah. Well, sorry, I have to keep counting. No, no, One, sorry. two, three, four, five, six. So these are what stitch that you're doing here? A treble. Treble. Seven. Seven. There's a lot of counting in crochet. Yeah. So how do you do it while you're watching the telly then? Because you must lose the plot of the television <laughs> show, surely. Well, um, I tend to listen to things. Oh, somebody had a, was telling me, when oh, did yeah. I hear this? That, um, yes, it was, a, I was, I remember now, I was doing an online class the other day and a lady was telling me she works with um, visually impaired people. Right. And so um, they put, you can get description on your, on your TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she said, oh, I put that on and then I can crochet and listen to the descriptions at the same time. Oh, so she doesn't have to look up. So, she, so it doesn't matter if she's not no, looking no. up all the it's time. It's really weird because mine suddenly appeared on my telly from nowhere. And I was like, oh, this is strange that you get all these words on top of it all now. Because it says, and Catherine looked over to John and then Catherine picks up <laughs> her crochet hook. And I'm like, why is this my, is my telly? And it was only when my neighbours <laughs> were looking after my house when I was away. I'm showing sure how far back it is. And they went, have you got it on there? And we've taken it off for you. And I was like, I just thought the telly started doing it. I didn't realise it was a thing. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, so yeah. she does that. Okay, so I've done my initial round. And then I can see that my next round, again, I'm going to start with three chain. So you are literally just following the symbols. Um, I'm going to do two treble into the same place. See, Claire's like you, she prefers a chart as well. It's says. nice. I, I, my favourite patterns are the ones that actually have both. Yeah. The words and the and the thing. Actually, that book has both in. Oh, is it crochet? Yeah, home? which is really nice because then, yeah, if you do get a bit lost, you can refer to your chart yeah. and go again. Now, we've got three little chain. These make the spaces, always three chain. Uh -huh. And I can see that I'm going to jump over a treble and I'm going to do three treble into the top of the next treble. Okay. I realise it's it's difficult to see because it's small, but um, when you start to look at it, You'll it becomes see. apparent. It does become quite clear. Okay. Because this one doesn't use too many stitches, it's not too difficult to So follow. now you're at home and one of your children comes in and says, Mummy, the chip pan's on fire or something <laughs> like that. No, that was a wrong, that was a bad example. Mummy, there's the insurance man's at the door wants paying or whatever, <laughs> right? What the, ba the bailiff's Annie, <laughs> that's what Anna just said. How, how would you know where you are on the pattern? If you put that down and went off, when you came back to it, how do you know where you are? Well, because when I put it down, I can see at the start of my round, there's my three chain, and I, I can look oh, and I can yes, refer yes, yes. back to my chart yes. and see where I've got to. Oh, that's falling off your hook. Oh, uh, yeah. But that's a good thing about crochet. It's only one, one loop, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's not like knitting if you drop like a knitting. stitch on knitting, yeah. So, so it, you can put it down at any point because it's easy to find where you yeah, are again. Okay. Uh, that's one of the, the good things about crochet, yeah. I always think. And because this is a round, in the round pattern, you can, you'll see that a, st a little pattern starts to form with it. Um, right, June crochets, and she says she can do it by touch, a bit like typing, so I can watch the TV at the same time. I didn't ooh. know how my nan used to do that. My nan would have a whole conversation, watch television, have a cigarette, and be crocheting all at the same time. Yeah, I can knit by touch, but crochet, I kind of have to. I kind of have to look to see where I'm putting my hook. So she must be very experienced. Yeah, well, my typing's like one finger, if I'm trying to find the key like that. So I couldn't do it in both. But it is, you know, I, I do like knitting and crochet for being able to just sit on the sofa and do a little bit. Yeah. 
Did it take long for you to learn how the, ten the tension, because that's because everyone talks about getting the tension right. Does it take long to, for you to uh, learn how the tension works? It didn't particularly. It is just practice. Yeah. It's doing the stitches over and over. Um, when you learn, if you do like I've got there and I've got it around my little finger, mm -hmm. yeah. and that helps you keep attention because right. it's this bit of the yarn that you need to keep attention in. So, um, but it is, it is just practice, like many things, isn't it? Okay, I just need to tell you, the uh, Annie, Quilt, Annie Crochet Bookazine, there's only four left. So that's going to have gone by the time we come to talk about that. Okay, and as you say, so that's the first, uh, so that's the first round and the second round. And then I can see as I move up, I'm going to work out on this diamond. So I'm starting to put more trebles in each time. Right. But my little gap is always three chain. And you can see it's going to go round and round and round like that. Right. Until you get out to the widest point, which is where I've got with my Y. Okay, the next, so the next round so. is you, you do the bigger bits of crochet between the holes. Is that what you're saying? Um, uh, yes. So where this one I did three trebles, yeah. on this next round there will be five trebles. Okay. Um, I need to look so at the that it so that it increases. So every round is going to get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. So it grows really quickly at the start, <laughs> and then as um, you get no, bigger see, and bigger. I see. So you say like the T's with the diagonal line on, they're trebles. They're a treble. And the yeah. first one, you've got three T's drawn. The next line, you've got five T's drawn. And the next yeah. one, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it eight? One, two, three. Seven. Seven and nine, oh, and, and it goes on like goes on like that, so that your diamond starts to form because you're doing. Okay, so then the little ovals are. They're your chain, chain stitches. Chain, chain. Yeah. Now, why are some of the ovals coloured in? Because and they show you the start. Oh, sorry, the end of the round. They're a slip stitch to join the round together. Oh, I see. So that's where you know where your start and end is. So you've had, there's only two stitches on? There's only two stitches? Yes, there is a d the odd little double crochet um, just at the points of the diamonds. And that's the T, what's that? What, what, oh. Which is a little cross. Oh yeah, the X, the X, I can yeah. see that now. Yeah, but, yeah. That, but literally, if you know the basic stitches, you can have a go at this. Oh, I think I'd prefer, I think I'd prefer doing it from a picture like this. Because then it's an instant glance, isn't it? Where, where if, you write, if you're reading the writing, you've got to look up where you're up to. You know what I mean? And it was just kind of, I just think that's better. Right, if the symbols meet in a point at the top, the corresponding stitch does be, oh, okay, got it. Also, the, the, the instructions are in many languages. <laughs> they are. One's German. So if you want to learn to crochet in a different language, yeah, exactly. you can. Well, it just shows that a chart is, a univer is universal, isn't it? Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. But yes, they're, U they're UK, European terms, not US ones. Right. And when we get to the books, we'll talk about that as well. The thing is, to know what languages they are, you need to know your flags around the world. I can see <laughs> British. Are you good at those? No. There's one that looks like a... F I used to collect those football stickers when I was younger, and they, some of them look like the football stickers. Anyway. <laughs> so you can see how the diamond is starting to get a little bit bigger that's come up really quickly though considering you just started that now it, it builds yeah, up very, very it does quickly. it's uh, when i opened it i thought oh it's 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 quite thin this might take a long time and actually it didn't at no. all no trebles are quite a nice a nice fast stitch in a way yeah yeah i'll finish this round and then yeah, yeah. i'll show you how we start then to on. then decrease a little Perfect. bit but i i think you could have a go at this chance not right now, I can't. I'm going to crochet hook out. <laughs> I should really. I was, I, I was going to have a go at needle punching the other day, but they all sold out. I couldn't open one. Message on the bottom from Jackie. Morning, both. Amazing. I've just received my first order, which is the white bobble blanket that Catherine did with Vix. I'm just casting on to my 156th stitch. Oh, now I have. If, uh, oh, she lives near you. She's in Leicestershire. 
Jackie in Leicestershire. Oh, hello, Jackie in Leicestershire. I, well, you, you saw me demo that, obviously, and I only did a small bit. Right. Um, but my daughter really loved it, and I said that she could, ha I'd, I'd carry on and finish the ball, and she could have it as a scarf. And it's about that long. I keep doing a little bit each evening. Oh, right. It's big, is it? It'll be quite a long scarf by the end, yeah. But I didn't want to cast on 150 stitches, you see. Oh, because, I see what you mean. So um, I only did a, a small sample. Because so I, I thought everybody would get a bit bored if they just watched me. So if you buy the pattern, it was 156 stitches. Oh, yes, stitches, yeah. But you only did like 20 or something. Uh, yes, yeah. yes. But it's so, such nice. That was such nice yarn. It's really soft. This is nice, this cotton, because it's quite durable. Yes. But you want so it to be for home wear, yeah. it's, it's good. And so at the end of each round, you are going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the, the first three. Mm -hmm. So you can see how that's starting to, oh, wrong place. That's yeah, it. No, they go, they starting go. to go out. So you carry on like that until you're at about at this stage. You see now the red one, I know it's not thicker, but it looks thicker. You think than it the looks sand. thicker? Yeah. Maybe it's just because I've done a bit more of it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Um, okay, so right. I know on my chart that I got up to, Ooh. I got up to this one here. So right. all the rounds start with three, three chain. Yeah. And then this round, I am literally going to do a treble across the top of each one. So when you're going into finding the top, you'll see that your stitches make little V's on the top yeah. and you're just going to go into every one so that you know you've got the right number. Cotton, you saw then it perhaps split slightly. Cotton can sometimes split a little bit more than other yarns when you're crocheting with it. Okay. So the, the thing to do, if you find that's happening, is when you slide things off, just turn your hook slightly like that. Yeah. And then it slides off and you don't split it. Oh, okay. I think trebles are my favourite stitch. Are they? Yeah. I've only <laughs> I've only seen slip what's it slip in the air? Stitch chain, chain in the air. And then and then treble and double. I've not seen any other stitches yet. Uh you get a half treble. Right. And then you get you do get lots of other you can things like bobbles. Well, I was going to say five hundred in. Five, yeah. Oh no, but they're all bobbles. they're, often, the other day, they're yeah. often just variations. So like a double treble and a triple treble. Right. Just they're just more times round your hook. So once you know those basics, you can actually do all of the others. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I've got to. Now, mate, put you off by chatting. No, it's okay. I just have to uh, just see where I am. Okay, so when you get to the gap here on this particular round, we've got three chain and we've got a double oh, yeah. that just goes into the third, the middle chain of the little row below, and then right. another another three chain. It jumps us over so that we're not getting a really long bit. So if you see really lacy crochet, yes, is that lots of chain stitches? Yes, often. And then you join it up with the next bit and then do yeah. lots more chain stitches. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I've got two and then, and then a chain, uh, sorry, a treble all the way across the top of the next diamond. And because it's a, a regular pattern, you've got this nice diamond pattern, each little section is going to be the same. Okay. So you get, once you've sussed out the first part of that chart, you know you're going to repeat it until you get back round to the beginning again. Yes. So you know if you've done seven, if you're doing sevens, it's seven all the time until you yes. get back to the beginning. Yeah. Which is why, for a, if you've not used a chart, it's a good one to start with. Yes. Because yeah. you've got that uh, repetition. So you'll learn what you're doing. As you go. And does it get to, when you get to the right of the outside of that cushion, is it difficult to hold that much fabric in your hand? Um, not really. No. As, they, as they get bigger, I mean, it's not 
not that huge. Well, no, it's because really. you're used to 156 shawls. Yeah, I mean, so. when you do a blanket and they get big, then yeah. you just sit with it, sit it on your knee, and it keeps you toasty. It's good, good <laughs> winter craft because it keeps you toasty. But no, because you just sort of, you can see even on this bit, I'm just holding a small section of yes, it yeah. as I work round. Yeah. Yeah. So no, it's not particularly cumbersome. Okay. So have you taught your children to do crochet yet then? Um, Anna did a little bit. She says she's forgotten how to do it now. In fact, I recently took a book home and, and said to my youngest daughter, oh, I'm going I'm to teach you. you. You're old enough to learn. Yeah. She hasn't taken me up on the offer oh, yet. Okay. But if she shows any sign of interest, then I will. Are they, are they taking any sign of sewing interest? Um, oh, yes. Yes, definitely. They all like, like sewing. Um, Maybe that's even my son. Even my son's done some sewing in the past. Oh, has he? Yes. He's not as keen now. He likes DT more and food tech more. Well, yeah, but but um, but he can sew if he needs to. Brilliant. Which is good. But yeah, he's into his food tech. I'm getting quiche when I get home. Homemade quiche. Oh, very nice. Fridays is is on is uh, online food tech lesson. Oh, so they still have cookery lessons. Well, yeah, they do. It's, it works really well actually because they do it live. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah cook along with the teacher. Like Gordon Ramsay, and he gets yeah. paid a fortune for that. Exactly. And then well, we're... how many cookery teachers are going to come out of this lockdown thinking, oh, I could do this? So uh, then lunch is ready. How brilliant. I know. Is there a, is there a grown up at home with him? Yes, my husband's working oh, right. from home. Yes. I don't want him putting the cooker on without you being there. <laughs> no, I don't abandon my children too often. Oh. No, no, I was going, you know, I just remember when I was little, it's, I know things, times have changed, cause, but, but the amount of times I was left with the twins, just to look after the twins, when my mum and dad were both at work and things. They're, they're bit, they, to be fair, they always say to me, oh, mum, oh, mum, have you got to go? And I said, you don't talk to me when I'm at home, actually. You just <laughs> appear for biscuits, so yeah, you don't that's need what me is, to be you're, here. You're the maid, do <laughs> so you not know that? <sighs> so, um... Obviously, it's, as it's getting bigger, it takes longer for me to get round. Yeah. But um, it is just that combination of trebles mm -hmm. and chains. Do you want to chat about the books while I'm doing this? I'm fascinated at watching how big. <laughs> yeah, but we will do. But I'm just fascinated just sitting here watching. Um, yes. Hang on, no. So when we're when we're at the diamonds, you still on diamonds? So I'm still on the diamonds. So I'm at this point in the pattern where the diamond is going to start to get smaller. So you, are, again. You, are you doing the bits in between the diamonds at the same time? Yes. Yeah, so because you're going round and round, when you get to, I'm at this point. Right, hang on. Let's see where where you are. Hang on. Ooh, right. So I'm at this point. Oh, we haven't we're got to the scalloping bits yet, then. And then we're doing a chain, and we're doing a double yeah. there, and the, and then on the next round, then you'll start to get okay. these little bits, which again are just little clusters of trebles into those chain spaces. So it's so, actually quite simple. It is. It's not difficult at all. No. So these are like what you do when you do granny squares. So if you can do granny squares, you can do this. Okay, so if as a beginner, would you suggest I did cotton or did a yarn? Um because that uh, that appeal that appeals to this cotton. I say Appe personal preference, what you like the feel of. Oh, I when like I this when feel. I teach crochet, I often teach it with cotton because that's what I personally like the feel of yeah. in my hands. And also it's not fluffy. So you can see... You can see. You can yes. Sometimes with a crochet, you go, oh, you go through here, you pull this, you think, I don't know where you've gone through, but actually with the cotton... You can see you can quite see exactly nicely where, where you're going, go through, absolutely. You? Yeah. So, so yes, I'd say don't be put off that it's oh. cotton. Definitely not. Well, I might have to take one of these kits home then. Right, OK, so let's talk about the books. Which book would you like to talk about, Hannah? OK, which book would you like to talk about, Catherine? Oh, well, this was my favourite one. Crochet Home. The Crochet Home one. Right. Why was it your favourite? Um, I really liked that it's, it's crochet kind of updated. It is modernised because I think some crochet does have a little bit of a, a reputation, maybe well, of being a bit old-fashioned. That's what about your daughter. Is she may be thinking, yes, I'm fine to sew because I can make whatever I want, but would I want to crochet? Was that not like an older person's craft? Well, that's craft? true. We were going to have a go at some little animals. Oh, but so, yeah. um, and so I really like that these look really just fresh and modern yeah, no, and yeah, nice exactly. and some really nice projects. And actually, um, I like that it's got patterns and charts, which was and great. is it UK or is it American? 
it's UK. Brilliant. Or your UK. Uh, and things like this. So she's made these into garlands. But like these little flower motifs, these are really nice just to make. And, you know, if you're learning and you want to practice, just to practice with these kind of things, you get really good. But doing a small a small thing. Yeah. What yeah? would you do with them afterwards, though? Oh, you can make them into brooches. You can put them on headbands. Oh, you can, well. You know, well, use them as little awesome. accessories on things. Um, when my eldest, she was so uh, about a few years ago now, they did um, a charity sale at school and they made lots of crochet. It must have been at the point she was crocheting. They made lots of crochet flowers and put little brooch backs on and they sold them and raised loads oh, of money. Wow. So, you know, you can do things like that. So yeah. they're good for practicing. Um, you don't necessarily have to do a massive, massive project. Um, Susan says, fairly new crocheting, what a fantastic demo. I've never tried to read a chart before, but definitely will be giving it a go now. Thank you from Susan. Oh, that's nice. And Christine says, oh, I forgot the beginning. I was taught to crochet by my next door neighbour when I was 12. Blimey, Christine, that'll be a few years ago. And who was very old and a lovely lady. lady. I made quite a few things over the years, but not for ages. I'm more of a knitter. Also, I always forget how to start off. I'll have to watch again later on YouTube. Yes, Christine, you will, because even if I could do this one, you can. I will quickly show you. How you Because it's really easy. Right. Um, if I find. So, start with a slip knot. Christine, this is especially for you now. Especially for you. Start with a slip knot. Slip knot's good because you can undo it. So, round and pull a loop up through and onto your hook. And it's a good knot to start with because if you've gone wrong and you've got to pull it down, you don't get a knot in your yarn. Brilliant. Okay, so start with a slip knot like that. And then a lot of patterns start with so many chain and joining with a slip stitch, especially if you're going in around. So for example, this one has six chain. Three, four, five, six. And then we're going to join at the beginning just with, so Push your hook in, the yarn over, and then pull the loops through, and you've made it into a little circle. And that's your base ring to then start doing different stitches around. And Christine's written in capitals. Oh, thank you very much. Loads of projects start like that. So if you can do that, you can do loads of things. Perfect. Okay. Anyway, back to the book, Crochet um, I really, really like that cushion with like lots of little postage size granny squares because that would just be fun to do and you could use up all your odds and ends and it would look really pretty. So would you make lots of little squares and sew them together or do you crochet as I you're going along? I believe that one. Let's have a quick look. How does she do them? I just looked and thought, oh, that's no, so no, pretty. No, no, sorry, I, I just that's threw so that pretty. question. No, I think actually she, does she sew them together? You see, for your she next... um, crochets them together with um, a row of double crochet. Okay, so your next project, I want you to make me this That's blanket. really nice. Yes, I liked that one too. See, this is what I like about crochet, John. It's like patchwork, but with yarn. Yeah, no, no, I think this is gorgeous. I think, this, and like you say, that is not, and I, I don't think crochet is old granny, but a lot of people go, oh, it's old granny, it's old granny. This one here that we're looking at now, I'm looking just in your book. That's not an old granny quilt. That's a really beautiful or bed throw. That's fantastic. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? Absolutely lovely. And again, would not be particularly difficult to do. That's now, a variation on your granny. Square. Would you make? Oh, so you, would you make it in squares again and I'm, then stitch it together? Do you think? Because it'd be huge that on your lap. Yes. Again, it? you're joining. You're making the separate bits and you're crocheting them together using a double crochet. Gorgeous. A lovely so, book. Really nice. I really liked that one. Yes. Fourteen ninety nine. that Lots book. Lots of nice projects in that yeah. one. Yeah. And, it, and let you say, it, 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 it's all fresh, isn't it? They all look lovely and fresh. Well, it's really they? beautifully photographed, so it's just, it's just nice to look through. Yes. It? Yeah, no, it is definitely, definitely. I've got a question for you from Vera. Uh, a great demo. Which of the books would you recommend for an adventurous beginner? Thank you, Vera, in Shrewsbury. Um, well, the, both the home ones have got the most projects in. I personally like this one, the, the one we've just talked about, Crochet Home, because it's got a variety of little flowers, the cushions, the projects, a lot are based on granny squares, so if you know those beginning stitches, you'll be fine. But this it, other one is nice. It's nice, She's but got a lot of bobbles in it. Lots of bobbles, but also, bobbles. look at the colour range that this person, Kate Eastwood, has chosen, and they're all 
the ones that are in the book you like, they're all bright and fresh and yes. zingy. The colours in here, there's nothing wrong with them, but they're all quite muted. They're more uh, subdued, aren't yeah, they? Yes, subdued, aren't yes, they? They're not definitely. bright colours. And I'd say the patterns were slightly, well, not old-fashioned, but they're more traditional yes. than, than the ones in yes. the other crochet. There's a lot within this book. Um, I say she's fond of bobbles, but also a lot. So, for example, I, I mean, I like this little daisy blanket. So you crochet your blanket, which is all the same, and then you make the separate motifs and you attach. And there's oh, okay. quite, quite a lot in this book of... So, for example, those cushions, they're made separately and then stitched oh, on. Oh, so you make so a big square. Yes. And then attach. So there's a lot of sort of quite, you know, quite basic um, crochet in there. Again, you could, you know, very quickly run them up. That's quite nice with the different stripes. Yeah. Um, and uh, bobbles. It's just like a bobble, isn't she? <laughs> she just like bobbles. There's a lot of bobbles in this one. <laughs> This is quite nice though, I think, because it's room by room, so it's quite yes, quite yeah. nice how it's how yeah, it's been nice. done. And that mini lawn at the back, that Easter. Oh. I mean, who doesn't want a mini oh, no. lawn on my table? Was that, which, now, which book was that in there? That no, was what? this one. Yeah, I've written oh. on my on my little notes. I've written mini lawn. <laughs> yes, because because um, you'd think that one would have been in this one because it's a very. Tra I've said it's all subdued and trendy, but then I mean, subdued and not as trendy. But this, I love that oh, no, lawn it's, one. It's really fun. And like little place settings with that made out of this fuzzy, fuzzy, <laughs> fuzzy um, um, yarn. Hannah's saying, wouldn't it be brilliant if you had a toy farm? Yeah, but look, Hannah, on their plates, they've got little rabbits and little Easter eggs, but in lawn. You've got nice descriptions of your different stitches in the back of this one as well. This, uh, it's oh, got yes. some nice, you know, so if you can't, you know, forgotten a stitch and want to look it up, you've got those in there to help you. Um, again, it's all UK. Fantastic. How much is that one? Twelve ninety nine. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence. It is a love. I mean, I'm not. I'm not dissing it. I'm just saying we all like different things. Slightly different style. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I exactly. think. Yeah. But then she's gone and put, spoiled it by putting that lawn one in the back. So I'd need that one for the warmer. <laughs> so what about this one here? The so this one, this one's now? really good, I think, if you are starting. It's a good reference book. So it hasn't really got a lot of projects in. Right. But it's got all those. Um, all the stitches and the little techniques and how to start and just things like a, you know crochet hook sizes all that basic information that sometimes people can assume that you know but if you're a complete beginner to it actually you don't no, no. you know um it's got a little conversion chart of the uk and the us terms that's always oh, handy, that's handy yeah. yeah and just things about yarn weights um so to know what hook if you've got different sorts of different sorts of yarn which is really useful to know yeah because you wouldn't automatically know that no if you're new no. to it you don't at all so and of course it goes through all the different stitches um, again it's got lovely pictures showing you what to do it's also got charts so that you can see how they look in a chart so I'd say this is a really nice reference book to have if you're just getting into crochet and wanting to know the more thing about is crochet has had a sort of resurgence hasn't it like and oh, I think it's skipped a generation so in my day grandparents would do it but my parents wouldn't have done it do you know what I mean so it's kind of skipped so you haven't had that passing it down the line whereas you've had with other kind of skills and crafts and things like that so sometimes a book like that if you want to just take it up and never ever if you're a knitter or you're a sewer or a quilter you just want to take it up that book's really really good just for having the basic know-how yes it? yes it is really good for that brilliant right I've got a quick question for you about your cushion there yes so you when you carry on past the triangles you've done all those three what's the stitch round the outside because it suddenly goes into like a this. ribbing no it's trebles again oh, okay but it's just, just trebles. all trebles but you're going into every single stitch right um so it just becomes more dense you've got no chains in there to um break it up okay and also we can you put your cream fabric behind Ooh, yes. your red just so we can see what it looks Let's like because bit. um i was saying i'd like a different color behind it but um but actually, it's quite nice. Uh, the Hazel, sand. the cotton yarn is in the kit. You have to get the cotton yarn in the kit, my love. And the sand yeah. behind it. So that's wine is the nice. big I, one I, I and sand it. is yeah. the smaller one there. Yeah. No, no, it works. It works, but I'm just thinking, well, I might like a different colour. Or, or I might have Absolutely. a liberty print or something like that that I want 
just to to kind of see behind the absolutely behind the crochet and, and you've got all the instructions in here to um how to put it together oh that was it is literally two circles right um and they have done it so that you stitch round and you leave a gap and you stuff it and then slip stitch it close so they haven't left it so that you've got a removable cushion oh add. okay okay now there is nothing to stop you if you're a competent sewer popping a zip in the side or even cutting your fabric so you've got a little envelope back. Yeah, and yeah. then and then you put a cushion pad in it rather than just stuff it. So they've just in. stuffed these, they haven't got a yes. cushion pad inside. Oh no, you need that because you need to wash it sometimes, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah, so it explains how to do it without being yes. able to get the insides out. Yeah, yeah, but as you say, if you're, if you're a sewer already, then you'll know how to do that. And a little envelope back in the back of there would be perfectly easy, wouldn't it? It you, would. So it's got the, it tells you how, there's no pattern for it, is there? There is no pattern. It gives you dimensions Perfect. on how to do it. 40, also, oh no, because that's stitched. How's this attached to the... You hand... Well, they've said to hand stitch it. You could machine stitch it on. Obviously, you do that before you put the cushion together. Yes, but I'm thinking you don't have... Some people don't want a round cushion. You could have a, still have a square cushion. You could. And that could then sit on the square cushion and you have Absolutely. a border of the other colour, wouldn't you? Yeah. Fantastic. What are you next, then? One of mine next. Um, oh my goodness me! Towards the end of February, I can't remember the exact day. Oh, it's a the Friday. End of February already. Oh no, it's only <laughs> couple oh, no, of weeks. Not Valentine's Day yet. Couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much for that. It's okay. been brilliant. Right. Okay. Let me take you through the bundles then, because the um, grey one is sold out. Blue first. Right. So what you get in your kit with the blue one is you get two balls of the cotton yarn, you get a crochet hook and you get the instructions and there's eight left. That's this one, that's the blue one. Oh yeah, the website doesn't have a very good picture. There you go, I'm just putting it all back away. So it's a, that's the blue one, that's what this kit will make. Yeah, ignore that and ignore that and ignore that and ignore that underneath it there, there you go. So that's the blue. There's eight of those left. As I say, the grey one sold out. Next colour, wine. Again, you get the two balls of yarn, you get the crochet hook, and you get the instructions. And, oh, and you get half metre of cream fabric. I completely forgot about that. And you get half metre of the cream fabric. That's that. And that was what you saw Catherine stitching up a storm a minute ago. Fifteen ninety nine. Well, our crochets not are they not called stitches? Yeah. Thank you, Hannah. They are called stitches. She said they're not stitches. They're crochet. Right. And then last but not least, the sand. Two balls of the yarn, crochet hook instructions, and half a meter of your cream. Oh, she's now saying oh, we've got three days away from each other. It's always good when we have a break. <laughs> she's feeling very sad. She was very bossy and moody yesterday. Today she's got a little bit kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Touchy. And not touchy-feely, like touchy as in, don't say that about me. At 15 99 that's your, um, oh look, I've covered up the blooming yarn with the instructions. That's your sand, which is my favourite, I've decided. I've not had not had the golden touch. Is there, is there no, no one like that one? Well, no, some people <laughs> did. Some people, not as many as all the others. Okay, then. Uh, right, what else do I need to do? Books. Very quickly. 350 crochet tips, techniques and trade secrets. Gorgeous book by Jan Eaton with lots and lots and lots of information. A go-to book. Have it in your... Ne in your um, Crochet bag, and you can always go to it if you need to. Oh, how do I do a button loop? How do I do this? How do I do that? It's all in there. Okay, uh, which one? The crochet home? Cro oh, now which one are you putting in? That one or the other one? That one, yeah. Crochet home. This is the one with the grass in the back. Grass in the back. 35 beautiful designs for throws, cushions, blankets, and more. Grass. 12.99. And last but not least, Crochet Home, which is Catherine's favourite. And I like it, I love that one at the back. It's funny they haven't put that one in the picture, the one, that, the, the big one. Anyway, 14 99 Lovely, lovely, lovely book, this one. Gorgeous. It's kind of brought um, 
vintage brought it modern, haven't they? Of course, we don't call rugs anymore. They're called floor throws. <laughs> floor throw, floor throw. Beautiful. Right, 14.99, got to go. Now, the next yarn lane is, oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. And these are on tomorrow. There's more, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Natural home collection. And who's the guest? Carol. Oh, oh, that's, um, isn't that, um, Elliot's mum-in-law? No, ste stepmom. Stepmom. Elliot's stepmom. She's lovely, Carol. She's in with those tomorrow. Um, I think they're gorgeous. I love that crisscross. Is it, so is it knitting? Yeah, knitting. All right, I've got to leave you now. I'm not back in now till, we're in Tuesday, aren't we? Next, yeah, you're in Monday. I'm in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday next week. So have a lovely Valentine's weekend. Hope you all get the gifts you wanted and the chocolates you wanted. And I bet you any money Hannah eats the, the meal for two in one go. She won't wait and have a half one night and half the next night. Well, I don't, how big are the steaks? I don't know. Not how big are the steaks. I mean, how big are the steaks? Okay. She can't have two steaks in one night. Oh, no, you'd over, don't this over protein or something, wouldn't you? Yeah, she'd be like, oh, look, there's loads of messages suddenly come in very quickly. Yes, John. I'm 59 this year. Jackie says, I recently made covers for my granddaughter's dolls pams with bobbles. Kath says, I haven't done any crochet for a couple of years, but Catherine's demo, the books and the chat have really inspired me. Oh, brilliant. Thank you so much. That's what we're here for. We will see you. Thank you again, Catherine. We will see you. Well, Side Street tomorrow morning. I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs>